Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Tech Review. Today's review is about the Dr. Prepare 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Now it seems like every day there's another brand showing up on the market selling 100 amp hour drop-in lithium iron phosphate batteries. So what makes the Dr. Prepare any different from the others? Let's find out. All right, so let's check out some of the specifications of the Dr. Prepare LFP battery. So obviously this is a 12 volt battery, so it's nominal voltage is 12.8. It is 100 amp hour capacity or 1280 watt hours. The maximum charging voltage is 14.6. Now the max discharge current on this is 100 amps. That means you can actually pull 1280 watts maximum from this battery before the BMS shuts it down. The max charging current is half of that or 50 amps. Operating temperature is 32 to 140 degrees. Now this is obviously charging parameters because you can actually use LFP batteries down to at least 14 degrees Fahrenheit, sometimes colder depending on how much use they're getting. So one of the things it says right here on the right hand side as part of the warnings, it says do not put in series. So you cannot put these batteries in series like you can say a Battleborn, but these are designed to be put in parallel, not series. So don't think you can buy a bunch of these and make a 48 volt system. And of course, it has the obligatory charge every six months. Really, these batteries can go a year between charging. I keep my batteries at 80% in the van all year round because that van just sits out there six months at a time without being used. So I just leave my LFP batteries out there, and which are Battleborns, at 80%. And that keeps them healthy regardless of how hot or how cold it gets outside. So other features of this battery, it does come with a nylon strap handle, which is removable and it does come with the hardware. So you do get these threaded bolts with washers as part of the hardware for the battery. Other than that, there's really nothing going on here. Let's go ahead and weigh it and see how much it weighs. So there you have it, the Dr. Prepare is 23.4 pounds. And just like any other LFP battery, this has a 10 year lifespan, 2000 cycles to 80% capacity. Now, of course, you can extend that capacity way beyond 2,000 cycles just by doing some careful charging and discharging. Don't ever let it get below 20%. And if you're going to store it, store it at 80%. If you can keep it between 20 and 80%, you'll get four, five, 6,000 cycles out of these batteries. 2,000 cycles is assuming you're just going to crash it all the way to zero and all the way to 100 and all the way to zero. That's 2,000 times to do that. But if you just do it from 20 to 80, you'll pretty much never wear these out. It's gonna take you a very, very long time. By the time this battery is worn out, there will be some new technology out anyway that'll be smaller, lighter, cheaper than what these are today. But that's gonna be way beyond 10 years from now. Now, one of the great things about Dr. Prepare is that they do actually give you a three-year warranty from the manufacturer on this battery. That includes the cells, BMS, everything. So if anything goes wrong in the next three years, you're covered. That's pretty good coverage for such a cheap battery. Yeah, I know Battleborn. They used to be $950. Now they finally dropped their price to $800 because of companies like this. They give you a 10 year warranty, but to be honest with you, if it lasts three years, it's gonna last 10. It's just like electronics. It's those first few months, that first year that might be a problem. And then after that, if you make it through an entire four seasons, and you don't have a problem with your battery, it's unlikely you'll ever have a problem with the battery. You'll just lose capacity over time. It gets to the point where it doesn't have much capacity anymore, then you just wanna throw it away or recycle it, I should say. Also note, this is one of a handful of brands on the market that does include low temperature cutoff for the BMS. So if you have this battery in your van or RV and temperature drops below freezing, the internal temperature of the battery has to drop below freezing before the cutoff will work. It doesn't care about ambient temperature. Ambient temperature could be 20 degrees, but say you have these inside of a compartment or something that's gonna stay 32 or above, these batteries will continue to work. But you can't charge these below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius because the BMS inside will cut you off. So if you try to charge it below freezing, it's not gonna happen. So don't think the battery's broken if you can't charge it. It's either full or it's below freezing. In those two situations, the BMS goes and cuts off your charger.
So there you have the results of the battery discharge test, as you can see. 99.2 amp hours, 1,170 watt hours. Those results jive because this is a 100 amp hour battery and the results are 99.2. It's not that the battery is shy. This actually isn't completely, completely drained. It, it's drained as far as the inverter will allow it, which is as far as you'd be able to draw it down either. There's still maybe like one or two percent of the bottom of the battery being reserved by the BMS so it doesn't damage the cells. So once you get down to ten and a half volts, it just the BMS just cuts it off. So now it's time to test the charge and discharge rate of the Doctor Prepare battery. So this battery is fully discharged all the way down to ten and a half volts, so it should be able to take anything I can put into it. Note it does say it's limited to 50 amp charge rate. So let's see if we can at least push 50 amps into it. Okay, here's our battery clamp meter. Hopefully you can read that. I'll go ahead and turn the charger on. Whoa, holy cow, 88 amps. Well, this is a 90 amp charger. So it's pumping in the full 90 amps into this battery. And that's kind of crazy because the doctor repair says right there on the side, it only supports 50 amps of charging. So it actually looks like it supports a lot more than that. I don't know if this is going to mess up the BMS inside by putting full force of my battery charger on it, but it is accepting almost 90 amps. Now that's quite a shocker. I wouldn't think that this battery would allow me to pump 90 amps into it. It's still going. It's at 87 amps right now. It's gonna slowly tick down as the battery starts to charge, but that means this battery can charge a lot faster than what they say on the side. Again, I don't know if this is good or bad. Is this going to somehow damage the BMS? The cells themselves can easily take 1C charging. It's the BMS that limits that. So for whatever reason, the BMS in this is saying, yeah, sure, 90 amps, we can take it. There's your answer there. So. I'm gonna still call this a 50 amp charging battery, even though we can push 90 amps in and, and maybe even more. This might actually take 100 amps, but I don't have a 100 amp charger. This 90 amp charger is all I got. So there's the results. All right, now it's time to do the discharge test. So we're gonna check and see. We're gonna go ahead and discharge the battery. It says it can do 100 amps. This is fully charged up. We're gonna go through this 3000 watt inverter. And of course, we're going to use the dun, dun, dun! Solarity generator. I haven't got to use this for a few videos. It was feeling left out. So we're watching here the wattage coming out of the inverter. Once we get to around 1200 watts, I'll try to be as slow as I can and see if we can get this battery to do exactly 100 amps. And we're also going to go ahead and check and make sure we're getting 100 amps through this meter. So we'll check both sources. Okay, there we are pulling 1200 watts. It actually says 125 amps. So we're actually pulling over the rated 100 amps. And it sounds like it's overloading. So let's do this again. We'll just pull 100 amps. There we go, we're pulling 100 amps from the battery, no problem. And it says here on the output, we're getting about 1000 watts. Now the reason for the discrepancy is because the inverter is using about 10% of the power to convert the power from DC to AC. So we're getting 1,000 watts on the output for 100 amps out of the battery. Let's try pushing it a little harder and see if we can get more amps out of the battery. All right, we're at 110 amps. And we're pulling 122. Let's try to back it up a little. Still beeping at 115. 110 seems to be the end. So those are some pretty good results, 110 amps output, which means you can actually pull a little bit more, about 10% more than what it's rated for. So that's good news. So with the surprising charge rate, which allowed me to charge it at 90 amps and pull 110 amps out, it's actually rated a lot higher than what it says on the side. So there are the results of the charge and discharge rates for this battery. Now, because I'm gonna keep this battery and use it for other projects around here and probably even other videos, I am not gonna be like other channels and cut the top of the battery off to show you the insides. The fact of the matter is it does what it's supposed to do and it has a warranty. So if it does fail because of a problem inside, you just get it replaced. Now, if you feel like this battery review isn't complete because I didn't cut the top off and show the insides, feel free to go ahead and complain down in the comments. 
So what do I like about the Dr. Prepare 100 amp hour drop-in LFP battery? I like the fact that it is well built. It's not super cheap. I mean, I know you can get batteries today a little bit cheaper than this, but they're really, really cheaply made. I mean, a lot of them don't even include the bolts. They don't include a handle. The case is flimsy. This is a very thick, solid case. Nice graphics. It's got the low temperature cutoff. A lot of those real cheap batteries don't have a good BMS and many of them don't even have low temperature cutoff. It'll just allow the battery to self-destruct if you charge it below freezing. So you gotta pay a few bucks for quality. So I think the Dr. Repair is really good because it's in between the cheapest, cheapest, junkiest Chinese batteries you can buy and Battleborn, which is the best. Do you wanna go ahead and pay 800 bucks for Battleborns? right ahead. I mean, I have three of them in my van. I know they're excellent batteries, but nowadays, if I had to do this over again, when I bought those batteries for my van, it was like two or three years ago. If I was going to do it again today, I'd get something like this for less than half the price and three-year warranty is good enough for me. So what don't I like about the Doctor Prepare? Well, it has to be the fact that you can't put them in series, which I find very strange. Almost all of these lithium iron phosphate batteries allow you to put them in two or four in series. For some reason, the BMS limited on this to only support 12.8 volts. So you can put many of these you want in parallel, but you can't put any of them in series. So if you wanna do a 24 or 48 volt build, you're gonna to have to look elsewhere. Now, after some serious negotiation with Dr. Prepare, I got an exclusive Hobotech promo code just for you guys that knocks 30% off the price of this battery. They had to recently raise the price in the battery due to all the shipping mumbo jumbo going on. Basically, a year ago it was like $1,000 for a shipping container and now it's like $20,000 for a shipping container. So prices of everything coming from China is going through the roof. I'm just telling you guys in case you don't already know this. I mean, it's on the news every day. But this battery, along with many other products on the market, the prices are going up because the prices of shipping are going up and they have to pass that on to the customer. But I did negotiate with them to get a lower price just for you guys. This is going to be for a limited time. They didn't tell me what the date range was for the promo code, but I'm guessing it's only a week or two. Now, this is the kind of battery you want to have in your RV or your house solar system or a van build or something because it's extremely stable. The larger size and weight of lithium iron phosphate doesn't matter in a stationary system. So this is where you want to go because you get more cycles. And even though it's bigger and heavier, who cares if you're not moving it around? So if you're interested in the Dr. Prepare, link is in the description of this video with a promo code that will knock a ton of bucks off one of these batteries. It's gonna knock the price to less than half of what you'd pay for a Battleborn. And yeah, I get it, Battleborn, they say they're made in the USA. Actually, the cells are from China. Uh, I'm pretty sure the BMS is probably made here in the USA, and of course it's assembled in the USA, but since we only have one lithium mine in this country, and it's not a very big one, the very, very large majority of lithium batteries come from China. Honestly, if I was doing my van build today, I wouldn't bother with Battleborns. I'd get something like this for half the price because like I said, it's all the same. It's all gonna pretty much work out the same in the end. And you're saving yourself a lot of money. You can put other things into your rig. So again, if you're interested in this battery, links are in the description below along with that promo code. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. So now it's time to test the charge and discharge rate of the Dr. Prepper. Dr. Prepare. <laughs> I keep thinking Dr. Prepper. That's what they should have called this company, Dr. Prepper, because then they could have ripped off the Dr. Pepper commercials. And just said, you know, I'm a prepper, you're a prepper, he's a prepper, she's a prepper. I'm a pepper, he's a pepper, she's a pepper, we're a pepper, wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Hey, maybe I'll start my own company and call it Dr. Prepper. RV Golf Guy, at Medicario, Andrew Vaughn, Roger Cardano, Brian Blue, first John's Jason Soroka.